So let's solve this problem. It's a conduction shape factor problem. So we have a 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter by 30 centimeter box that has uniform surface temperature of zero degrees C and is covered with two centimeter thick insulation having a given thermal conductivity. The outer surface has a uniform 30 degrees C. So it's a box. You can draw it. It's not a cube. One side's a little longer than the other two sides. So 20 by 20 by 30 centimeters. And it's covered with insulation. Uh, the insulation is on all sides. How thick is the insulation? Well, it's two centimeters thick. And maybe you can think about this is, sounds like an application where the inner surface is zero degrees C. Your experience with temperature, zero degrees C, what's it sound like? Freezing, ice, probably a container of ice and it's melting inside. And uh, what do you have on the outside? 30 degrees C. It's a very, very, very hot and it's sitting in the sun. But all sides are somehow 30 degrees C. Make it simple, not just the top. All right. So how are you going to calculate the rate of heat transfer into the box? How do you get Q? So the heat transfer can kind of go through this face or through that face or that face or that face or that face or that face. So it could probably come in from six sides. And so you say, sum of all the cues from all the sides. But it's not only just the side, there's something special happening along these edges. Because it's like the side kind of wedges out some. Instead, it's so if I looked at the, the, the top down look at it, Maybe this surface would be the 30 degrees C, this surface is 0 degrees C, and then it you know, cuts and goes around like that. And so this, this area for the side has gotten bigger. How much bigger? Well, let's say it was uh, 30 centimeters. And then you add 2 centimeters of insulation and 2 centimeters of insulation, so it's 30 four centimeters there. All right. And that's kind of just cutting it and looking down at the top. So the approach is not only do you add on sides, you consider uh, the sum over six sides plus the sum over, and then the sum over, and so we're going to do the, the sum of the flows. The last one are the corners and then the edges. All right, well, so what does, what do you mean by the edge? It's hard to show, but like this would be an edge, that would be an edge, that would be an edge, and then the corner would be right there is one of the corners where the three edges meet. So probably it's easier to get how many corners there are. How many corners are there for this problem? Eight. Now, it's a little tricky, but how many edges are there? Twelve. You're absolutely right. Twelve is hard. So, so what you do is you say through each of the sides, we're going to use a model of the thermal conductivity, the shape factor for the side, and the delta T. And then for the edge, thermal conductivity, shape factor for that edge, and delta T. And for each of the corners, thermal conductivity, shape factor, delta T. So what, what it boils down to, this equation, all the delta T's are the same. The thermal conductivity of the foam is the same. And so you can isolate that you have basically the sum of S's for six sides, the sum of the shape factors for 12 edges, and the sum of the shape factors for eight corners. I don't know if that notation is hard to read, but you see what I'm doing? Par they are all in parallel, not in series. The, the heat can go out this face or that edge or this edge. So this is a better illustration. This is the problem repeated. 
That's what a face looks like or a side. This is what an edge looks like. That's what the corner looks like. And just like for all shape factors, you have one either point or a line or, that's not time, line, or you have a face, a surface, that is isothermal. That's maybe where T1 is. And then you have another point, a line, or face, which is isothermal for T2. And the easiest is to see what are the two isothermal sides, lines, or whatever faces for these face right here. So it's on the back side, it's 0 degrees C. On the front side, it's 30 degrees C. So it's an area, an area. And the shape factor is really easy. The shape factor for that is the area divided by the length. So you just have this, 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 this area. And the length in that case is the thickness of that foam insulation. All right. <coughs> Well, what about the edge, though? What's isothermal? Is it an area, a point, or a line that's at the inner temperature T1, which is 0 degrees C, and let's say T2 is 30 degrees C? For this edge, what is it? It's a line. It's a line, which is 0 degrees C, T1. What about, what, what's, what is isothermal T2? two sections of the area. It's like this pink shaded as well as the top is all 30 degrees C. So if I looked at it going down, it would be 30, no, zero there and 30 and 30 there. Okay, the last one, the corner. What is a point, line, or surface area is T1. It's a point, the inner corner. And then I have the, all of the, the, this side, that side, that face, that face, all of that cube is all at 30 degrees C. Okay, well now you just say I've got to look those up. You don't have to look up the slab which has area A and thickness L. The conduction shape factor is A over L. But if you're looking at the edge along adjoining walls, as long as you meet the criteria that D, the length of that edge, is greater than five T's, or L's, I'm sorry, which is the five thicknesses. In this case, our <coughs> thickness was two centimeters, and our edges were either 20 plus four, or 30 plus four. Actually, no, it's, not, it's just, uh, 20 or 30 uh, centimeters, right? 20 or 30 centimeters. So is uh, 20 centimeters greater than 5 times 2 centimeters? True or false? It works. It's okay. Check. Criteria is satisfied. There is my shape factor. Um, then we look at the corner. As long as L is much less than the length and width of the walls, and L was our 2 centimeters, and then the length and width of the walls were 20 centimeters. So that's fine. So here it is. So what you do is you set it up so you can tabulate. Be a little careful. You have two of these faces, two of those faces, two of those faces. They have two of them, or four of them have the same area. This one has slightly different. It's the 20 by 20 instead of the 20 by 30. The shape factor for each of those you multiply the number times each shape factor. You sum it up for that section. Do it for the edges. We have 12 edges. They sum up to that shape factor. We have eight corners. Sum up to that shape factor. Sum them all up. All the shape factors there. Go back and look at the percent. What is the contribution due to heat transfer through the faces? Well, it's 92%. Uh, then if you count for the edges, that's a 9%. And this one is NEG. What is that? That's pretty well negligible <laughs> through the corners. But uh, there you go.
That's how you would calculate the overall shape factor. Once I have that, multiply by conductivity times this overall S times the delta T. That gives me the Q. Make sense? Okay, so this is our clicker question right here. Um, if the insulation conductivity is changed from 0.04 to 0.08 watts per meter degree C, how will the rate of heat transfer change? Will it increase? Will it not change? Or will it decrease? All right, we stop. So the question is, is what happens to Q? Does Q go up, stay the same, or go down? Well, what's changing? K. What did we say about K? Did K increase, decrease, or stay the same for this problem? K went up. What's the relationship between Q, K, S, and delta T? So if K went up, let's take a look at the results. Are they 100% correct? It increases. All right. I see there are some people that have clicker problems. Guard your clicker button against your neighbor. They're, they're, they're distracting you, and then they reach over and push the wrong answer. On your clicker. Yeah. If the insulation thickness is changed from 2 centimeters to 3 centimeters, they're making more insulation around this cooler. How will the rate of heat transfer change? How will Q change? It's probably easiest to see it. Okay, we know this equation is true, but let's say K, if I just wanted to count for 90% of the heat transfer, it went through the faces, true? It went through those six faces. So we would sum over uh, six. And what was the A over L delta T? So what is this A in the equation? The area. What is this L in the equation? Isn't that the thickness of my insulation? So if the thickness of the insulation goes up, but I'm dividing by a larger number, if it, L goes up, then it goes, then it goes down. More insulation, lower the rate of heat transfer. Your uh, bag of ice lasts longer in your cooler. True? There you go.